Hi guys, so today I have a review for you from uh, Parku. So they did send these items uh, free for my review and all opinions are my own. So I do want to show you what um, I received and then I'll do a separate video. So this is uh, what I'll do today, the 14 gel pen with the medium point um, set. And these you can find on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description box. Um, inexpensive pens and I just wanted to try them out because I figured this is the kind of thing that we do like to use. And the other item that um, I uh, agreed to use here was the uh, Parku Dual Tip Art Marker and these are your alcohol ink markers. I think on their site they say they're similar to like Bic and uh, other alcohol ink markers so I'm curious to see how they blend and things like that but that will be in the next video. Um, the reviews on them on Amazon are already pretty great so that's always good. Um, so what I'm going to do with these guys is just open them up in the order that they are in here. And they come in this little plastic casing. And basically, they always come with like a little red tip, like a little protective tip. So you always want to pick that off. <laughs> and then I was going to just maybe on here, I guess, why not, is just write the color's name and then uh, a little swatch. So like yellow. Already I can see that it writes really well. There was no skipping or anything like that. Um, hopefully you can see that. I know yellow is harder to see. Let's try orange. Again, pick that little thing off. So this is just regular paper. What I would say is like type weight paper. And not smearing. It dried pretty quick. It does say on here that it dries three times faster. So if you're using this for coloring, which I will try to do a little coloring, um, um, you know, you might get a little less blending because if it dries faster, but we'll try it out because my coloring paper, like I have little postcards, is a little bit different. That's pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to go through all of them and just write their name and I will be right back. Okay, I'm on the very last swatch here. I just pulled that off the black. And they all wrote really nicely, you know, uh, dried pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if you've tried other gel pens, but uh, they do take a little while to dry sometimes and they smear. But for that reason, some people like them for um, coloring to try to blend. But this is what they look like. Um, let me see if I can show you the back of my paper and see. Again, this is about typing weight paper, like a printer paper. A little bit thinner, so you can kind of see that it came through the back there. Um, what I was thinking is I'll show you real quick and see if how they do on coloring. And I have this really pretty postcard set that I've had for a good long while. But let me see if I can find something that would make sense for this to try it out. Um, maybe this one. And let's try out maybe the two different greens. So what I'm going to do is have them ready. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm going to start with the light green, maybe on this area here, right, so I have a good amount there, and then I'm going to put down the darker green at the edge here. I'm not following the each individual petal thing, or like little area, I'm just trying to see if I can get these to come together at all. I mean, it's pretty. I don't know that I'm getting a blend, but again, they're not really designed for that, right? <laughs> really nice. Um, let's see. And they look dryish already, because I know I've had other ones where if I look at it, I can tell that it's just like wet. Um, Okay, sorry, I had a quick idea and I didn't want to waste your time while I look for this brush that were the right one. This is a water brush. It's a little bit wet, okay? Uh, I'm not squeezing it or anything like that, but now that I've talked about this for a minute, I don't know if this is going to work, but basically you can come in and just smear that color out. And this paper is really thick, so it just operates differently. So let me try that again with this one here. Again, I'm starting with the lighter color out on the top. I'm just thinking about ways that we would use them as card makers and crafters. And I come in here with that green. And you know it's still pretty wet because I just laid that down. So that 
Hopefully you can kind of see how that blends. Look at that. How it just makes it look softer, the colors. And before you can kind of see most of the pen marks, but when you bring in that water, it just kind of helps it out. Yeah, I can still do this one. I just don't want to put too much water down because you don't want to get your paper reactivated too much because then your paper will start peeling up. But how pretty. And uh, Let me show you what I mean. I'll just keep it up here close to me so I can see. Let's say we started here. And obviously I'm doing this a little bit differently than I did before. <laughs> I usually like putting all the light color down, but I'm going to come in here and start scribbling from there. And these are pens, so basically you're scribbling, right? You're kind of doodling. And I'm trying to color it in, but you can see all the the pencil marks, the pen marks, right? Not too bad, but and when I come in with this guy, it just kind of blends that out. And it's not perfect. I mean, it still has a a line there that's very obvious, but it smooths that out really nicely. So I just want to show you some little tricks that you can do um, with this kind of thing. Let me do a couple more. Again, for basic writing, they dry pretty quick, pretty nicely. I do like that it has a navy blue. This navy blue almost looks like a denim. Can you see the difference between that navy blue and the other blue? It's a lot brighter, but this is a really pretty color. And then we have your light blue. And I didn't know if I should call this one teal. I figured this one. I figured that's teal, I suppose. And I did magenta here, um, but it's really like a deep kind of pink. Um, and maybe this one I will go ahead and start out here. And then I'll go to this one. And I'm sorry, my neighbor just started his lawn mowing. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like that. Can you see how it just kind of blends together? It just really brings that out. It's so pretty. I probably should make that darker anyway. I left the light where. Um, let's see how it looks if you just did this, a little bit of that magenta. Cute. Alright, well, anyway, I was just having some fun with it. Um, I'll continue coloring and doing things like that. I'll have some pictures for you guys and I'll have the links for you. And the next video will be the, um, art marker review and maybe I'll even just color him on here too because this is a good thing to kind of use. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you at the next one. Thank you so much Parku for sending these for my review and uh, bye now.